<laughs> so, but Allison, yeah. tell us yeah. how would you, uh, how would you? I don't know, kind of a an advice or something that you took out of you guys is mm -hmm. the way that you guys started dating that could be applicable for that you see. Oh, this actually, you know, worked for us, and yeah. this could be a good advice for people that's trying to date nowadays. That's a great question. Um, I mean, it's crazy how much time changes. And even in the four years we've been married, I mean, dating might even look different now. But for me then, I think there was a few things. Um, I had come to a point in my life where I, I definitely, I was pursuing a life that I would love to live even if I didn't get married. Mm -hmm. um, and for girls, at least in the church, sometimes it feels like there can be almost like, I'm going to wait around. Mm -hmm. for a guy to kind of complete me instead of like, no, I need to make sure I am fulfilling God's call in my life. Wow. And when that happens, amazing, but I am going after something. I'm not waiting. And so I had come to a point where I realized, oh, well, I'm actually kind of waiting. I'm kind of almost being codependent, like waiting for something instead of realizing God has something on my life that I need to own. Mm. And so I started to really go after what was in my life, but also realizing the desire to be married. And yeah. so, um, Part of that was for me of like, oh, if there's a guy I was interested in actually being like, hey, can we go for coffee? Or hey, just starting a conversation with him, being a little more proactive instead of just yeah. waiting for that to happen. So I think for me, it was a trusting, knowing that God, uh, very much a trusting, even when we we're in a relationship of like, I feel like I'm being drawn to this, trusting even in the middle of that, that God had something or I didn't want it. And at the same time, meaning to put myself forward. It was kind of wow. this interesting um, yeah. dance of the two. And so I think I would just encourage people of making sure that you are going after what God created you to be, even if someone's not there, mm -hmm. and yet be proactive about yeah. actually finding that person. Because I believe that God did create most of us yeah. to be with someone, and it's a very um, honorable drive within us to actually go after that. And so... Um, to actually, if you see someone, to actually go and have conversations. For us, a lot of our interaction came out of um, playing a set and then actually having really meaningful conversations afterwards. So wow. we would be talking and I'm like, oh, there's something more here. And that was us kind of leaning in. Yeah. So, yeah. but at the same time, I really had to trust. I remember at times being like, okay, I, even though I feel like I'm leaning, I need to, you know, I'm yeah. only part of this factor. I, I don't know. I feel like I'm head here. He's head, you know. And yeah. that trust. So it's kind of, to me, it's the two. It's trusting but leaning in. Yeah. Um, and that's probably wow. different for everyone. But wow, that's really good. Thank you, Allison. I